Travis County commissioners have created a half million dollar pool for local elected officials to help them secure their homes. It's a request made and granted in a public meeting last month. The move comes amid ongoing reporting by the KVU defenders about a secret $115,000 security allotment that Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza requested and received earlier this year that continues to spark fallout months later. Here's senior reporter Tony Plohetsky. As judges, as you know, we are in the center of legal disputes in our county every day. Two local judges, including one who narrowly escaped a 2015 assassination attempt when a defendant shot her in her Austin driveway, made a public pitch to county commissioners at their October 22nd meeting. We are here today to ask the Travis County help our district and county judges and all elected officials and magistrates who also deal with these people the litigants, secure their homes and persons. The judges openly provided examples of increased dangers. Several of my colleagues have had litigants show up on their front doors. After a brief closed door meeting, commissioners returned and voted unanimously. All those in favor, please raise your hand. To create a half million dollar allotment to help about three dozen elected officials, ranging from probate judges to the tax collector, make their homes safer by paying expenses such as monthly security system fees. How the judges handled their request out in the open stands in contrast to the manner District Attorney Jose Garza kept his request for money to protect his home secret and continues to fight transparency. The KVU defenders reported in August that commissioners approved a secret request giving Garza a $115,000 security allotment, including money for his home. We requested a series of records about the expenses, but Garza declined to release them. Then on October 9th, the Texas Attorney General's office said he had to. Last week, Garza sued Attorney General Ken Paxton, arguing that the release of records would violate his common law right to safety. Not transparent at all. Thomas Leatherberry, director of the First Amendment Clinic at SMU in Dallas, said a government entity suing the Attorney General to block the release of records is highly unusual. The spirit of the law and the spirit of good government is to lean in favor of transparency. And this is the opposite of that. The suit is the second time this year the county has sued Paxton related to Garza's security expenses. The second suit for records about a $26,000 payment to a Houston-based private security firm is still pending. Leatherberry said such suits can become costly and time-consuming to take to court and play out over years. It's not a good look, particularly when you're talking about expenditures of public money. Judge Kuskur said she took the request to create a security allotment for all elected officials after our coverage of Garza's secret security money, telling me, quote, when I saw that they had granted the district attorney's request, I thought it was only fair for us to make our request for all elected officials. The Travis County Attorney's Office has notified KVU that the district attorney's office and the county auditor intend to release at least some of the records that they are not fighting in court, but they still have not done so in the 42 days since Paxton first ruled that they had to. Brian and Quita. All right, senior reporter Tony Plahetsky, thank you so much. And just this week in Washington, Judge Julie Kosurik was honored with one of the nation's highest judicial honors, the William H. Rehnquist Award for Judicial Excellence. Kosurik received the honor for her advocacy for increased judicial security in Texas and across the nation. In 2015, a defendant in her court, Shemine Onyiri, shot Kasurik outside her home after she planned to send him to prison. She narrowly survived that attack and vowed to remain on the bench. The gunman was sentenced to life in prison.